What is up everyone? I bet you guys never thought you'd ever see this machine in the frame again considering I said I was selling it. This is my lovely MacBook Pro early 2008. Um, a machine that has a design that holds a very special place in my heart. And even though I only used it as my main laptop for about a year, um, I've always been very attached to uh, this kind of design because I had a power book as well. Now, as you guys know, I had several battery issues with this machine and um, I wasn't going to revisit them. I was going to buy another cheapo battery, plonk it in, get it working and sell it off to someone that had more time, effort, energy and money to spend to get this computer back up and running nicely. Now, it's hard to justify the cost in um, going through every little thing that's wrong with this system to repair it considering it's, what, seven years old now, at least. Um, so it's a bit of a shame to see it, um, to see it die. But today, um, I'm gonna try and revive it just as cheaply as possible, um, just enough for it to be usable, and I shall explain why in a minute. So basically guys, my girlfriend's laptop is broken. She dropped it and the hard drive is broken. And the laptop itself anyway has a few issues. The battery falls out, now the hard drive's broken. It's recently had a new screen because the screen was broken. So it's been taken apart quite a bit before and everything. Um, and it's a little bit of a shed. It's a Pentium laptop, I think with one gig of RAM, maybe two gigs of RAM. It's from around the same era as this. So considering that's a cheap laptop from around the 2009 era, a very, very good laptop from 2008 is going to be better than it. And of course, um, she plays like The Sims and stuff, so this has got the 8600 in it, which is actually um, pretty nice. Um, still to this day for a laptop GPU, really, I hadn't, I never had any, any slowdown issues. But of course, um, it's notoriously unreliable. And it's not just, it's not just averagely unreliable, it's pretty much unreliable to the point where everyone knows that these machines eventually fail um, but it hasn't failed yet so the only problems I was having really that mattered were power issues the other problems with the display and that I could cope with fairly easily um, so what I'm gonna do is flip this upside down and show you guys that there was a giant hole in the bottom of the machine because I had to dispose of the battery that was in it because it was dangerous so what I have basically done is bought a new battery for it now I've splashed out a little bit here and yes I could have bought a uh, new new hard drive for my girlfriend's laptop for the same price or even less but um, if this doesn't work then I won't spend any more money on this but if it does work then I'll be very very happy so here we have it this is what I should have bought the first time round this is actually a decent third party battery for the MacBook Pro this is made by Lizone Lizone uh, Li Zone, I guess it's Li Zone. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Li Zone Battery Express. This is a good example of one of those companies that, um, yes, they're not original Apple batteries. Yes, they are third party, but they're not cheapo Hong Kong batteries that cost fifteen, twenty pounds on eBay. This costs around forty, uh, no, fifty pounds, including delivery. So this is an expensive battery, much cheaper than buying an Apple original, of course. And Apple original batteries actually have have horrendous reviews for whatever reason. I'm not sure if they shift with different batteries to what they sell as replacements, but nobody has luck with buying uh, Apple um, batteries for these, even the legit ones. That's the same for PowerBooks as well. I hate the fact that you can't remove the batteries in the new Apple laptops, but it really does make life a lot easier because you don't have to go through all of this stress with random companies making batteries. Now, these guys, apparently, they make pretty damn good batteries, so I really, really hope this one is good. If I have any problems with this laptop, I doubt it'll be battery related. And if it is, I will be very inclined to send this back because for the price I paid for it, it is pretty much essential that the battery performs very well. Because a machine this old, selling a battery for £50, it's kind of a rip-off, to say the least. But it comes in really nice packaging. This is genuine, legit stuff. Much better than the third-party battery that I bought. So let's... Oh, I've already broken the damn box. That's okay. See if I can slide this out effectively or however it works or if it's taped in. This is a, a, an incredibly tight fit. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, so moving the outer sleeve aside, here we have it.
Man, everything about this box is stiff. So opening it up, it says, thank you for choosing Lizone. We are always here. And it says, visit our website. So yeah, this is all looking fairly legit. This is good, guys. This is... Sorry about the cut there, everyone. Ironically, my camera battery is giving me some issues. Um, so it'll probably cut out again in a second. It needs a good old charge. But anyway, um, I've opened the manual and stuff while I was giving this a bit of a boost. And it says, don't plug it in yet. Um, use the laptop with the battery beforehand. So that's what I'm going to do. Here is the battery. Feels really nice, much better than a normal third party one. It's proper metal, aluminium top. Everything is really nice about it. Obviously it comes wrapped up like this. Now the instructions state that um, I should use it until it runs down to 5% then charge it for 8 hours. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because I want this to be perfect. So here it is all unwrapped and it's actually reporting that it has four blobs out of five of charge, which is really cool. Gorgeous feeling battery, feels just like an original. That is awesome. Let me pack the box away and keep it safe so that if I need to return this battery, I can. They make returns very easy, it says on their little form, which is good. Let's put that out of the way. And of course, simply does it, let's throw in the battery, just like this. Or somehow. No, like this. But hey, sorted. There's the battery in. Matches not as well as I thought it would for the money, but it is metal. So, yeah, maybe it will change the same colour as the rest of the computer. Anyway, there's a bit of a bulge to this battery, guys. I'm not even lying. There really is a little bit of a bulge already. But I'd say that's just a normal bulge, so I'm not going to worry about it too much for now. Okay. So, let's see if the computer boots up. Three, two, one. Boom, the computer is up. Ah, but, hmm, I forgot about this screen issue. Hmm, are the graphics totally dead or what? Let me think. I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to charge my camera a bit guys and have a look at this uh, and have a look at this computer. So everyone here we are the MacBook Pro is booted up and it is working. I've got SMC fan control running. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, basically it, take, it took a while for the MacBook Pro to boot up. It was having some graphical issues but um, it seems to be working fine now. It's just very sluggish and the HDD is making loads of noise. Um, I'm actually downloading Yosemite for a couple of different reasons. First off, I want to try it out on this machine. And um, second off, I need the file for my Hackintosh. Um, so this is still running Maverick, so I was like, kill two birds with one stone. I need to get Yosemite DMG anyway, so I might as well just get it. Um, I'm still running on battery power. I'm keeping an eye on it. When it gets to 5%, I'm going to plug it in and leave it plugged in for eight hours straight. Um, I'm also hooked up via Ethernet just to make the download a little bit faster for the uh, Yosemite installer just because my um, my Wi-Fi router is, is really bad so I'm going straight into the, the gigabit switch and it's being much much quicker since then it's like what I would say about a megasecond maybe at a push something like that um, whereas on Wi-Fi it was about half of this speed so that's good it's still gonna take ages to download 5.64 gigs but I've got plenty of other stuff to be getting on with also guys I may today I'm not too sure um, it may be this video it may not be this video I may put in my OCZ um, Agility 3 SSD because this uh, hard drive is so bad. It's only a 60 gig, but you know, 60 gig is plenty enough storage for OS 10, uh, a web browser, and some other stuff. So, yeah, it should be enough. I hope. I'm not sure how big Sims 3 is, but it's definitely not, um, definitely not 60 gig. So. Yeah, I'd like to put a bigger SSD in this in the future if it works out, but to be perfectly honest, guys, SMC fan control is running now. I'd say maximum there's another two months of life in this. Um, this is going to completely die, but if, if she can use it for now, while we can scrape some money together to get a replacement laptop, then that would be really good. If she likes OS X, then I'll see if I can get a sort of a 2009 Unibody MacBook Pro or 2010 at a push for a good price. Um, but we'll see, you know, money money is tricky at the moment, but the battery seems to be working absolutely fine, as you guys can tell, which is really, really good. 
um, so I'm I'm happy with that and it's running down uh, nice and fairly quickly it says 44 minutes remaining on 40% so get it charged up nicely eight hours I'll mark the time when I start charging it um, it's only 5 to 1 um, so 12.55 p.m. at the moment or 12.53 let's see if the clock is actually right on this yeah the clock is still right on this which is pretty cool considering it's been powered down for so long I thought it would have messed up with all those power difficulties I was having it's 12.53 I've got to go away for an hour or two today just to test some gear ready for my gig tomorrow and then I'll be back home later um, and I've got another computer repair to be getting on with that you guys will hopefully see as Thursday's video I think so that is pretty cool but yeah I'm uh, I'm I'm quite happy with this guys and I don't feel that I've wasted my money on the battery quite yet um, depending on when this machine dies I may feel as if I've wasted my money but we will see it'll be a very interesting uh, very interesting video if it does die so uh, yeah I'm really really hoping for the best here also guys I hope I've got a pen drive big enough to put the Yosemite installer on I, I'm sure I've got an 8 gig knocking around somewhere I really hope I have anyway um, just because I want to do a fresh install on this SSD if I do put the SSD in that would be really cool anyway moving along I will see you guys um, in a in a very long time probably in good few hours time because of uh, because of this download and I don't know why I've got a graphics benchmark on here that must have really killed really really killed this blinking uh, this GPU oh god well ladies and gentlemen I did exactly what it said and when it got to 5% battery I managed to catch it exactly on 5% I plugged it in now it is currently 20 to 2 so if I want to leave it plugged in for 8 hours Obviously, I'll be here until 20 to 10, and I may have to leave before then. Um, and I don't want to, you know, leave it in for longer than eight hours, because I really want to abide by the instructions. So what the instructions actually said was, if you can't leave it in for eight hours, at least charge it until 100%. So I may be able to leave it in for six hours, which would be really good. And then it says, run it all the way down before plugging it in again. Um, run it down to 5%, no lower, and plug it in again. And do that a couple of times, and then it's fine. So it's basically, you know what you're meant to do with all batteries but I'm really trying to do it with this one because it's a lot of money and I want to get the most from the battery itself um, so of course I'm still downloading Yosemite uh, if we take a look it's actually making decent progress I've literally just made Thursday's video now we're nearly at two gigabytes so I've just made Thursday's video um, I'm being quite productive today um, Thursday's video is going to be a little PC repair if you're seeing this video before um, you see the PC repair, which you may or may not be. I'm not too sure on my schedules yet, guys. Um, however, um, we are going, we are going good. And um, by the time I've edited Thursday's video and done all I want to do with that, and found a pen drive that is eight gigabytes or more from my stash, I may have to use an SD card. Oh, that could be that could be crippling. Um, but yeah, um, once I've found one, I will. The, 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 oh, what am I trying to say? Once I've found a pen drive and done all my editing and stuff, the Yosemite install should be uh, downloaded. So that is really good. I will keep you guys updated with any changes of the machine. So everyone, we're making decent progress. It is uh, 33 minutes past three, and I've had quite a productive day um, doing lots of stuff that I needed to get done. As you can see, we are nearly downloaded. 5.27 gigs of 5.64 gigs. Now what is really cool is I'm getting picked up at quarter to five, so um, I'm free for just over an hour again. Uh, I'm going for a couple of hours to test some gig stuff, like I said, um, with the person that I'm doing the gig with tomorrow. So that is cool, I can leave this machine on charge over that period, um, which is really good. This is on 66%. It says two hours and eight minutes until full. It's having a good, nice, slow charge up, which is, which is really good. Um, I found a pen drive to create a mountain lion. No, not mountain lion. Yosemite installer, um, which is great because we're going to install Yosemite fresh install on this. And what I'm going to do instead of making the bootable drive on this Mac, I'm going to copy the disk image over to my Mac Pro so that I can safely store it for when I need it for my Hackintosh, when I need to make my Hackintosh little magic pen drive with UniBeast. So um, that will be, I can make that as soon as I get my Patriot 16 gig 
USB 3.0 pen drive in the post. It's coming from Amazon and it's taking a little while to arrive. But anyway, um, everything is going well. So my plan is now not to put the SSD in the computer because it, this is quite um, a heavy, heavy upgra um, upgrade process. It takes a while to change the drives in these and there's quite a few screws. I don't really have the time today. So what I'm gonna do is do a fresh install of Yosemite. I'll definitely get that done while the battery is getting a nice load of charge and whatnot and that'll be me pretty happy. I'll see how this original drive goes once it's completely fresh. It'll probably go very badly, so you'll see a video in the future of me putting an SSD in. But if I'm gonna bother doing it, because it's quite a process, I will put in at least a 120 gig um, to make it worth it. So I'll look for one second and on eBay for this machine. Um, but I won't, I won't buy one on eBay until this has been working for at least a couple of days without any hiccups. So this is just a little update to tell you guys that everything is going completely fine. I will probably see you before I go at quarter to five because this download, um, this download will probably be done before I go and I'll be able to copy over the files and stuff. I won't be able to get the OS fully installed probably, but maybe I can at least start doing it. So for now, I've got a few other bits and bobs to do. I will see you guys very soon. So everyone, it is 7.30 p.m. and obviously I've left the battery charging like hell uh, while I've been out and stuff. And as you guys can see, I'm actually installing Yosemite um, straight on this machine from the upgrade. I backed up the download and whatnot, um, but I'm struggling with my 8GB drive to make it bootable for some reason um, with this image. I'm struggling with disk utility and stuff and my Mac Pro is doing a couple of other things. I, th I think my Mac, my Mac Pro needs a, a restart but I, uh, I'm not going to do it at the moment because it's doing a couple of other things. So my plan is to just upgrade this install, make a new user account, delete my user account with all the data and hopefully it'll be uh, fresh as a daisy then. Um, Although I really don't want Little Snitch on here. Little Snitch is on this machine and I really don't want it because it can cause a lot of hassle. So, uh, yeah, it's a great app, don't get me wrong. It can just cause hassle. So I really don't want that on there, like I said. But anyway, this isn't very interesting. So I'll get back to you guys when something happens. Well, everyone, it's getting late and this MacBook is taking forever to boot up and stuff. So I'm going to call it a day for this video. Um, and of course, I will give you an update as to how it's going really soon. If you don't see this, uh, if you don't see an update, assume that it's going great. But you probably will with either an SSD store install as a good scenario, or probably um, another rant video about how it's not worked out very well. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Battery seems to be working great. I'm really, really pleased. As always, I will catch you in tomorrow's video.